What's good, my K-Squad? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we are doing George Carlin, People Are Boring. So, shout out to you guys for requesting. Make sure you guys are commenting down below letting me know what George Carlin videos you guys want to see next because I feel like I did so many of them already. And honestly, I don't mind redoing them. So, if this is a video that I've done before, I don't remember. So, you know, don't hate me if I did this one before, but I literally don't remember if I did. So, yeah, we're just going to get right into this. This is People Are Boring. So, make sure you guys give this a thumbs up so I know you guys are liking Carlin and make sure you guys are commenting down below what you guys want to see next so let's just get into it and it's bad for you now you wouldn't know it from some of the things I've said over the years but I like people <laughs> okay. I do I wouldn't I think like that. I like people, but I like them in short bursts. Yeah, I feel that too. I don't like people for extended periods of time. Same. I'm all right with them for a little while. Yep. But once you get up past around minute, minute and a half. A minute? I got to get the fuck out of there. And my reason for this, my reason is for one that you may share, possibly. I have a very low tolerance level for stupid bullshit. Yep. And everyone wants to tell you they're stupid bullshit. And a lot of them don't know when to stop talking. You ever run into that guy? Doesn't know when to stop talking, just continues running at yes. the mouth like verbal yes. diarrhea. Yes. Don't know when the conversation's over. Stupid, trivial shit you don't care anything about. Things you're not even remotely interested in. Did I tell you about my mom and dad? Well, my mom and dad went on vacation down to Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. This is about six years ago, I think. Seemed like it was six, about six years, six years ago. Six yes. or seven, possibly seven. <laughs> I know people like yeah. that. Somewhere in there, six, seven, more than six, less than seven. Let's call it six and a half. So my mom and dad went on vacation to Mammoth Cave, Kentucky, and my dad found a big rock. What he thought was a big rock, turns out it was a dinosaur turd. A petrified dinosaur turd, 27 pounder. <laughs> you know, now that I think of it, it might have been eight years ago. Oh my goodness. That reminds that me of Raymond Reddington. That would have to Y2K, wouldn't it? Remember Y2K? Whatever happened? Everybody's all worried about that. Nothing ever happened. <laughs> Big fuss. Nothing ever happened. You know? God. That's strange, you know? So let's say, we'll say it's eight, eight years. Eight, it was either eight or five. Here we go. So my dad gave my mom this big turd. He said, here, mom, this is a big dinosaur turd. Put it in your purse and take that home. My mom said, dad, I don't think this is a dinosaur turd. This thing is still warm. Whoever dropped this thing is still walking around in here. <laughs> and we better get the fuck out of this cave. Nah, for real. Nine years ago. Nine. I know it was nine because my wife was pregnant with our first boy, Mahmoud Ibn El Saeed <laughs> Ben Salam. And he's ten now. Or is he? He's 11. Maybe he's 11. He's either 11 or 5. And while all this is going on, you're searching through your mind for something diplomatic and tactful and graceful that you can say to help end the conversation. The co yes! And all I can ever come up with is, blow it out your ass! 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 But you can't say that. You, good manners don't permit it. You have to find another way. And I go to body language. I try to use my body language to show that the conversation's over. Yeah. I find myself leaning at a 45 degree angle, <laughs> trying to indicate the direction I'd like That's to go. Leave? If this person would just shut the fuck up. For real. And that I might even give him a verbal cue. Surgery. Surgery. I'm late for surgery. I'm having my ears sewn shut. You know? Yeah. 
Same people on the phone. Same people on the phone. Don't know when to hang up. Don't know when the conversation is yes. over. Dumb, trivial shit. Yes. Dumb questions. So what are you guys going to do five summers from now? We haven't made any plans. Marge wants to go to the beach. The kids kind of like it at the lake. And I want to go to the mountains. Grandma wants to visit her sister in Frog Balls, Arkansas. <laughs> How about you? You made any plans? It's never too early to make plans. We're going to Norway in 2025. <laughs> Did you know that up until the 1950s, Norway's economy was based largely on fishing? But now, thanks to the expansion of the world economy and increased improved drilling tech, yeah, and so once again, you're searching through your mind for the right thing to say to help end the conversation. Shut the fuck up, comes to mind. <laughs> Uh, or blow it out your, uh, how about uh, shut your fucking pie hole, might be good. Or if he prefers cake, shut your fucking cake hole. <laughs> but these things, you don't want to, you can't say those things. And, and you can't use body language on the phone. Right. Well, you can always amuse yourself, you know. Click. He's a savage. That's just, like. Or if it's your mother, you show your mother respect, you put her on speakerphone. George be getting it in? But that doesn't move the conversation along. You have to find another trick. And I go to tone of voice. Do you ever use your tone of voice to try to talk them into a soft landing? Yeah. You try to coax the person toward the end. Right. Good. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, then. Good. Uh-huh. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. All right. Oh, fuck. There he goes again. <laughs> You remember my neighbor with the burns on 90% of her body? Well, she burned the other 10% now. She was lighting a fart and her bush caught fire. That's a funny old lady. Listen, li listen, Reverend. <laughs> Rev Reverend, Reverend, I, I hate to be rude, but I just took a three and a half hour shit. And I'm bleeding from the asshole. Well, I don't have any Mercurochrome. Yes, I, yeah, I'll put a Snoopy Band-Aid on it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. You do that for me. Yes, say a prayer for my asshole. Thank you very much. You have to resort I almost to spit out my tactics drink. because many people do not understand what a phone call should be or what a phone call is. Ideally, a phone call is the brief exchange of a few vital pieces of information. This is a phone call. Hey, Steve, what time's the circle jerk start tonight? <laughs> 10 o'clock. Okay, listen, I'm going to be a little bit late. You'll have to start without me. Oh, don't worry. I'll catch up. I'm eating a whole bunch of oysters and watching a horny movie. <laughs> Uh, it's called Tarzan Fucks a Zebra. <laughs> Russell Crowe. <laughs> well, it's kind of a fantasy. Right now, Renee Zellweger is blowing a unicorn. <laughs> That's a phone call. That's a phone call? It should call? not be a two and a half hour harangue of your third cousin describing her mailman's liposuction. God, people are fucking boring. People are just fucking boring. Okay, guys, so that was my reaction to George Carlin, People Are Boring. When he started, like, talking about how, like, there's people who would, like, literally, like, go on a tangent about stuff, I instantly started thinking about Raymond Reddington from Blacklist because he has a story for every single thing, and he would, like, be in, like, the middle of, like, the worst time and, like, tell, like, a whole story about what happened to him in, like, France, like, ten years ago, and it's just, like, so funny. Like, it just literally works out for him, and it works really well with the show. So comment down below if you guys have ever watched Blacklist and if you guys know what I'm talking about with Raymond Redditing because he can literally be like that. But except his stories are actually interesting and he puts a twist on it by killing people. So, I mean, you know, like who would not want to pay attention to that? Um, there's definitely a lot of people who have, they just cannot read social cues or like they cannot read like hearing somebody's tone, you know, because there's times where I'm literally like trying to leave a conversation and I make it so obvious and I'm just like, okay, mm, like I'm just like so dismissive. It's so obvious to like a regular person, but to them, they're just like, yeah, and no, 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 no. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. And like, especially at work, you can't just be like, all right, bye. Like, you know what I mean? So you kind of have to just be like, okay, all right, well, I'll talk to you another time. And then they're still going. And I'm just like, I literally just told you I have to go. And you're still just like ignoring it. 
but sometimes like when it's like an old person you know and they don't really have much people to talk to i can kind of understand why they would want to keep you on the phone you know but um i feel like i like my generation now this doesn't happen as much i mean i guess it can happen you know there are some people like that but i don't feel like it happens as much i feel like it's more like with the older generation where they want to become so lengthy and they just don't care about whether you want to leave the conversation or not so comment down below if you guys can relate to this and if you guys love george carlin comment down below let me know what your favorite george carlin stand-up is so i can do that okay guys so if you guys are wondering why I'm recording videos in my car, it's because, you know, I'm on my lunch break. And I just first decided to record videos for you guys because um, it's just not that often that I can literally sit down every single day and record a video. So that's what I'm doing. If you have a problem with that, that's on you. But I know a lot of people don't. So I love you guys. My K-Squad, you guys are down for me. The K-Squad, like, you guys are the best. You guys don't even care. Like, you know, you guys are just here for me and here for the reactions. And that's what it is because I love y'all, okay? So, like I said, comment down below what George Carlin videos you guys want to see next. Or if you want to see any other video, let me know, okay? So, I haven't done George Carlin in a while because I'm not sure what you guys want to see. So, just let me know.